Finally, and back to the theme of media scaremongering, here's the headline from the Daily Mail. Okay, very scary headline. It says, new evidence amid fears coronavirus can hide in human cells and reactivate. The virus can reactivate after you've recovered. That's, that's the headline. And there's evidence of that, they're saying. Wow, well that's, that sounds very scary. And then you start thinking, well, wait a second, all these people that recovered, could they still die maybe? Or is there, it just sounds like scary stuff. And what uh, the way the game is played is, is you know, what, what, what these outlets would prefer for you to do, what Daily Mail wants you to do, is read the headline and uh, maybe click on it for, just click on it for a second uh, and read like the first sentence so that they get the click, but then click right out. They don't want you to actually read the entire article. Because when you do, here's what you find. And I'll read for you from this Daily Mail article. Remember, remember, remember what the headline was. Uh, new evidence amid fears coronavirus can hide in human cells and reactivate. Okay, here's what the actual article says. 51 patients who recovered from coronavirus in South Korea have tested positive again, raising fears the virus can be reactivated. Still sounds pretty scary, right? The patients from the country's worst hit city were put in quarantine after being diagnosed with the virus, then tested positive again days after being released. Um, Korea Center for Disease Control Prevention said the virus was likely reactivated rather than patients being reinfected. Uh, scientists at the government-run health body believe the virus may lay dormant at undetectable levels in the human cells. They say that for unknown reasons, the viral particles can be reactivated, but it is unclear if patients become infectious again. Okay, so that's, so we've read that far, and this is the point where you're supposed to drop off, you've read enough, you've kind of got, you've got, You've got the gist of it. Now you can share it and you can spread the fear like wildfire help to spread it all over the internet. If you keep going, though, one more sentence. Here's what you'll read. Experts say there is no evidence to prove that the virus acts in this way and studies in monkeys have actually shown the opposite. And they say in cases where patients produce a positive result twice, it is normally because of a test giving the wrong result, which happens one in five times. So that's... So you, you, you go through the first, you know, several sentences uh, and, and the headline, and then you get to the bottom of the article that negates everything you just read. Basically, that sentence I just read, really what the sentence says is, forget everything you just read before. None of this is probably true. The headline was new evidence, and in the article it says there is no evidence. So there's new evidence, and the new evidence is there's no evidence. So what the real story is that there are some people in South Korea who tested positive and then tested negative and tested positive again. And there are some unnamed people in government in South Korea who are worried, who have fears that this means that the virus can reactivate. But in terms of the actual science and the studies and, 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 and the research, there's no evidence of that whatsoever. And there's a real, there's a, there's a much, there's a much simpler explanation, which is just that the negative test that they took was wrong. And that happens 20% of the time. So it would make sense that you're going to have, they say 51 people. Well, that makes sense. The fact that there are fears among some unknown people of something happening, that's not a, that's not a news story. I have all kinds of fears. You want to do a, a, a you want to do a, a news story about fears that I have? I have all kinds of irrational fears. When I go on airplanes, I mean, I've, I've got tons of fears on airplanes, and now I can add a few because of the coronavirus thing. One of my irrational fears on an airplane, you know what I worry about sometimes? Is that, is that the plane will go too high and will like drift into outer space, which is t completely impossible, and only a moron could worry about that. So it's physically impossible that could happen, right? But it's a fear that I, it's just a totally irrational fear. So why not do a, why not do a, a news article headline, new fears that airplanes fly too high and hit the moon? New fears. Um, I've actually had, I've had, a, I've had, I've had dreams of that. I have this weird recurring dream of things that are like elevators too. This weird recurring dream my whole life where I'm in an elevator and you would think a normal recurring nightmare is where you're in an elevator that crashes, it hits the ground. Uh, my fear is that is I'm, I'm in, in, in my dreams, the elevator goes too high and kind of shoots out the top of the building. I don't know what that says about me psychologically.
Thank you for tuning into The Daily Wire, one of the fastest growing conservative media outlets in the entire country. If you enjoyed this video, uh, be sure to give it a like and a subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our content.